name is Suge, heading off into the Boundary Waters. Three or four nights doing the snowbank loop. Come with me. I'm just going to slip you into my pouch, take you along. Do I look excited? I kind of am. Ah, uh, the first nice views of Snowbank Lake. But I'm uh, looking forward to a good walk. At this point, I'm planning on going up the Snowbank, cutting over doing the Disappointment Trail down, back down to the Kekakabik, and uh, back over, come back up the Snowbank to the Ka. Man, I was looking back at the video, and I'm using this zinc oxide sunscreen. Uh, just because I'm prone to skin cancer and uh, <laughs> I was gooping that stuff on today, I noticed it's, I got, man, I look like a clown, put his makeup on and then uh, took it off while he was kind of drunk or something and left half of it on his face. <laughs> Sorry about that. I s sincerely apologize you had to watch that. So yeah, I checked the weather report with my inReach, and it's 82 degrees today, 50% humidity. That's why I'm, uh, I'm almost sucking wind here or there. Don't know why. Because it's day one and I got up early. Early! <sighs> Time for the Sawyer suck system. I was getting a little low on water. It's hot out here, and I had just uh, oh, about a quarter of a... Gatorade bottle of water and went down by the lake a few times to try to get some and I was kind of up on the rocks and it's uh The waves are really uh, crashing against the shore and the rocks are black and slick. I couldn't quite get down there safely So I was kind of nurturing this little quarter of a bottle And I found this little stream here. Now I'm good Oh yeah Now I'm gonna sit here and water up me and the bugs. Natty! Black flies! Starting to hear thunder. Rain is just starting to drizzle. It's cooled off probably at least 15, 20 degrees. Uh, wind is picking up. I'm back in the deep woods right now. There you go. Big old pile of wolf scat. Yes, it is raining. So I've switched to my GoPro Black. So you might notice a different uh, picture or sound right now. And uh, I've had to put on my Packa. Yeah, got me Packa. Uh, the rain came on, I, I made it to the site. That rock right there behind us. Kenny called that altar rock. It's just me and not wandering fool. It's just me and not wandering fool. So I'm just kindly sitting under here. I got my packa. I can uh, put that thing over me like this. Kind of sitting on my pack here and I'm going to set up my hammock in a little bit. but. This is what you got to do when it's raining and you, you know, set up your tarp first. So this is my war bonnet mini fly. So I got this strung, so I'm good and high and dry here. May not even have to go down and get water. I'm just getting it off the edge of the tarp. 
and try to stay as dry as I can. Get situated, get the hammock hung, try to keep everything as dry as possible. It's uh, going on five. And there was some lightning that just struck out there about 10 minutes ago, but I haven't seen any since. But it's thundering and there is some lightning and I'm, I'm pretty good. Now all set up and dry. And the rain stopped a little bit. Woo, buddy. So I can sit out here and look over beautiful Newfound Bay. Well, maybe getting a little break. Uh, be nice not to have rain for a while, but it was interesting setting up in it. It's been a while since I've done that. You just got to take your time, stay dry, get under there, get your tar pitched, think out your plan. Got a nice hang. Real excited to sleep. I'm tired already. Hungry, though. Uh, the bugs are out. I got some... Permethrin on my clothes. I had two ticks today on my leg. They were kind of, kind of just on my calf. Um, didn't get up my pants. There it is, wandering fool. Good old altar rock. Since we were here last, man, some some trees have fallen from that storm. Bakar. Oh yes, there's a lovely, lovely latrine situated right here. Looking into the stand of red pines. Make me very excited about my morning constitutional. Yeah, a lot of trees down since the last time I was here from that big storm. Blew them right in. All right, there's my phone, and uh, it Bluetooth connects to my InReach Explorer, and uh, I'm right there where that little little uh, blue triangle is. It says I walked five hours. Time moving, hour 54, I don't believe that. I did about 6.42 miles. Moving average, 1.68. I thought I was walking a little faster than that, but that was a, that was a bit of a challenging uh, 6.48 miles, whatever it was. Mainly because of the rocks on the trail. And a little, a little tired and mealy today, uh, getting up early. And early! I tell you, that, that sun and humidity... And that heat, that slowed me down a little bit. Come on, sugar, gut up! Mighty fine sitting rock. Some loons going off out there. Some cool birds. Ducks flying by. And skeeters. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Realm and Rescue. Comes with a little sriracha pack. And uh, add this to some ramen noodles. I got a. Little, I got a Pack of ramen right here. Mama! Mama! Some pork flavored. And, uh, and here you got some green beans and some spices to add to that. So uh, it really, really dolls it up a little bit. Be cooking all that on my fancy feast stove right there, my favorite alcohol stove. Let me dessert tonight. I'll be having a McVitie's Club, a teeny tiny candy bar. That is your milk chocolate covered crunchy biscuit with an orange flavored cream. Okay, I hope you're getting a good look at the McVitie's Club Bar. The orange, the biscuit, the chocolate. I've got a bit of a continental palate. A lot of people don't like orange and chocolate, but I do. It's bloody 8.30 and I'm laying back and I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, within the next half hour, I'm going to lay here and stare out there and just listen to the wildlife. Yeah, I got the uh, Wilderness Logic Summer Series, and I'm glad I threw in my underquilt protector at the last minute because I knew it was supposed to be windy and rainy for a couple of days. I've only used this underquilt one other time. 
and it's supposed to get down into the uh, it's supposed to get into the 40s maybe tonight and tomorrow so I'm gonna zip up and see ya good night everybody good night At a peaceful night. Laying here, it's about 48 degrees. Cool. It didn't rain very much. Really glad. Much as you think you want it when it's kind of cool in the morning and all the clothes from yesterday are pretty wet from sweat mainly, and then it started raining, and then you're condensing inside the, the rain gear, which is a, I'm using my pack of this time. Um, you always wake up kind of dreading putting on those wet clothes, but once you've had your coffee and broke your camp and had your morning constitutional and it's time to walk and you put them on it's never that bad and you just get to walk it and get warm the bugs are not bad this morning and then i brought my little off fan which i haven't really used yet and that really helps keep them back and i got those little punk sticks i brought the little the hippie ones i you know i don't want to hurt the bugs feelings or hurt it in any way i just i just want it to keep its own space and and its space is out of my space and i burned one of those last night while i was having dinner and uh it was it was effective and then i've got uh i got the spray that from sawyer the uh the um, picard and spray and i soaked my clothes in permethrin so between all of that kind of stuff um helps keep the bugs back but it's a cool morning and they're really not around and normally when I kind of open up my bug net and start having breakfast they usually clump up on me but they're not this morning so that's a good thing Lord I can't make a decision and that puts me way behind I know I need to see her, yeah, before I lose my mind. It feels like Hickory, this is our site. I think this is where we stayed the third night when we did snowbank, keck, disappointment. Got really hit by the storm. A lot of the trees we hung on are down. Still a couple of hangs, though. Feels like retribution. For something I know I've done Lord, I'll be tearing myself apart Till I find out what I'm guilty of Ah, my first sign of Columbine. I've probably been walking a couple hours now. Maybe more. But it's a, it's a good walk. It's up and down, really rocky, really rooty. A couple of times you have to stop and look for the trail. And uh, mainly down in those boggy areas sometimes. You, you can't quite see where it goes. you got to sort of figure it out. Makes it really fun. So yeah, this is that super burned out area and you really got to look for the cairns. There's times you just got to stop and search around to find them because they're behind a bush or something. You can see the path sometimes, sometimes you can't. Um, my next one is right down there, right there, and then I think there's one over there. So you really got to look and pick your way through. Now, this can definitely be the most challenging section for someone that's not familiar with trail. Woo, buddy! Lo, 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 lo. From that storm a couple of years ago, man, that is the biggest blowover 
of a tree I've ever seen from from underneath and it's always interesting to see what's beneath a tree rocks I've gotten off the snowbank loop and I'm heading east on the disappointment loop that goes around the east side of disappointment lake and man that storm a few years ago has just left some devastation back in this area I mean they've cleared I'd say 99% of it there's still a lot of stuff like I've been on my hands and knees about six times now you got to crawl under some stuff but uh, it's it's not the crawling it's the standing back up afterwards all secure and sector disappointment first people I've seen all day so I got down here to this uh, disappointment lake site I'm gonna hang in that little nook right back over there there's my sprawl got my little punk going cuz it's a little buggy and you don't want to come out here unprepared Ah, uh, the old ULA Amigo Pro gravity water filter that's not made anymore. All right, I'm nestled up here pretty nicely. Got her up in porch mode. I got things drying out there. Coffee time, it's coffee time. Coffee time in the woods. So I can get these white feet warmed up. It's coffee time. Mighty good. Yeah, got me a dark brew there. Just opened this today. Jack Link's AM, even though it's uh, PM. Breakfast bacon, brown sugar, and maple. That's good, man. It's good for about three days once you open it. And I just opened it, and it's mighty good. And for my dessert, I'm going to have a Tonics Milk Chocolate Coated Caramel Wafer Biscuit. I've had these, and they're lovely. Do you like it when I sip and smack my lip? One of the things I love about the war bonnet hammocks with the bug net, when the bug net's on, is right now I am just leaning back and I have back support. Now most hammocks are like, without the bug net, you're leaning way back. But with these, you scoot back a little bit and the way the bug net sits in, you can just sit here and I can just sit and look Ugh. and sip. Um, TheMapleKing.com, TheMapleKing.com is now open. Yep, that's right, Hickory, I mean, uh, The Maple King, finally got a little site opened up. But at least if you go there now, you can see some stuff. Go check it out. TheMapleKing.com. The Maple King. I'm The Maple King. TheMapleKing.com. TheMapleKing.com. Man, this coffee's working already. I'm coming around. That was a hard hike today. I don't know, just because it was wet and so many rocks on the trail. And two times I had to really stop and uh, on this disappointment side and really look for the trail because trees were down over it. Uh, I had to drop my pack and look around. <laughs> 